Let's take a look at applying flags, stars and labels. As well as keywords, these three options are another way we can help sort and find our images and typically we may use them in conjunction with other aspects of the screen we're currently viewing. Compare view and survey view are two that come to mind. Now compare view is a good example because once we've sorted one image from many in preparation for taking that forward into further editing we may not be ready to do that right then. So in that case we're going to need to identify the image with a flag, star rating or a coloured label so we can come back and find the image easy later. Well we can do all of this within the compare screen and if you look down at the bottom of the selected image here you can see all three. There's the coloured label, there's the stars and there's our flag. Let's go to the coloured label first. If I click that you get all of the options open up. So if I were going to use green for go to apply to the image I'm going to manipulate later then I can apply that. We see it in this fashion on the bottom right corner but we see it a little stronger when we go back into grid view in a few moments. We can add a star rating either one at a time or we can just jump to the end and add all five stars and we can click and drag to remove those stars just clicking and dragging from the right to the left. And we can add a flag simply by hitting the letter P on the keyboard as you can see with the little tooltip there or just clicking and we see the flag appears white. Now I'll remove the flag and we'll just stay with the green label and what we'll do here is click done and go back and take a look in grid view. And now I've got my image look nicely highlighted in green, very easy to find particularly when we get to the next video and start looking at sorting the images. When we're working in survey mode, this one here, as you can see I've got six images chosen above, it's almost certain that we're going to want to use either a flag, stars or labels to identify the images we want to use later. It could in fact be more than six. As I move my cursor onto the screen, close to the image you can see I get the opportunity to do that with the flag, the stars and the labels. So starting up the top, if I wanted to pick this for future use, if I chose just for example a blue label, then it would make sense for me to just add that blue label to all of my options so that I can quickly and easily find them later. There we have it and we could quite easily now go back to grid view. I think we need a degree of consistency when we're using flags, labels and stars. They have to mean something to us. We have to become confident that when we see a green label for example we know exactly what that means to us. So I would suggest if we start off as we mean to go on and maybe at the start for a few weeks or a month actually keep a note on what the different flags mean to us. But to be honest it's not likely you're going to use all of these options. For example I tend to favour coloured labels which I find meet all my needs. And even within the five different coloured labels we can apply I only ever use three red, green and yellow. I very rarely use stars or flags but that's just a personal choice. For example a red label on any of my images means that I've viewed the image quite carefully and the image has some technical fault. Now normally that's going to be that it's unsharp and I'm unlikely to use that image. So let me just select one or two of these and as you know we can select one image a whole row of images or individual images by holding the control key and we can apply the red flag by clicking the little button down on the toolbar but we also get the opportunity to just hit the number 6 key and the red flag will be applied and if I hit the number 6 key again of course it will be removed so these options toggle the flags on and off 
A yellow label means to me that I've looked carefully at those images and I've got three selected here and I can use the 7 key on the keyboard to apply the yellow label but what it means is technically the images are okay all three of those could be worked through the develop module in Lightroom so I'll probably come back to these at some later date and pick one of those three to move forward in that case sometime in the future I may look at all three of these and it's very likely I'll do so with the image much greater enlarged than we have it here so I can double click and it will open up big and if I click again it will come up even bigger and as we know we can actually navigate around this by clicking and dragging and I will show you another way to do this but there we can see the image huge we can evaluate the sharpness of the image and of course I can touch my number 8 key and I can set my label to green even while I'm in this view let's go back to the grid view and there we can see now one of those yellow labels has been turned to green so when I see a green label on my computer it means that I've definitely sorted this image and I've marked it for definite future editing now we can add all three of these options flags stars and labels in a variety of ways as I've said either to single images a batch or a chosen few probably the most straightforward is right there on the frame of each of the pictures as we can see them in the grid screen now if we take this batch of images here I'll just select them for the moment by holding the shift key when I click the first one and going to the last one these were all shot from a beach and as you can see looking up at a headland lookout so we've got a great strong silhouette there and quite a nice sky and I'm sure we can make quite a lot of some of these images if I wanted to add a flag to those images I can select them all or I can just select individuals as you know so let's select that one that one and that one and as I move on to these images at the top left almost invisible but not quite and you will see the tooltip there says photo is unflagged but when I click I can apply a flag to any of the images which I have highlighted I can do exactly the same with the stars as well and as you can see as I'm hovering over this one here if I just select it I can click either to give it three stars four stars or five or I can remove them by just clicking and dragging to the left or I can add a label so if I wanted to add a label of my choice I can do that there too remember we can apply the label using the little tab there but still remove it by hitting the 8 key on the keyboard all of these options are available on the keyboard let me take these three for example and select those I can apply the star rating here with the numbers on the keyboard number one key well I think you're going to be ahead of me here number one gives us one star all the way up to five for five stars but if we wanted to remove them all then if I hit zero they are removed if I want to add a flag to those three images I use the little key just to the left of the number one on my keyboard and there you'll see the flag appear at the top and touching the key again removes it and of course we know we've got the same options with the colored labels adding the colored labels with a keystroke starts following the five star option so once I've got past the number five key if I hit the number six key well you can see we get a red label the number seven gives us a yellow eight green that we've chosen before nine gives us blue and I think we can choose another color but I'm not sure we have a keystroke for it that's a good point we have mauve down here now in our demonstration here it means I've applied a lot of labels to a lot of images in a random fashion we can always remove them quite easily by selecting the image in question and just clicking the tag again or hitting the number key on the keyboard but of course if I want to remove them all in one go what I could do here is select all so once I've selected one hit control A to select all of the images in that batch then if I right click I can choose to remove them here so I can choose set flag unflag so I've just removed the flags from every single image I can right click and go to color label 
and choose none so there you'll see all of the color labels gone and I think the only one I've got left is my star rating so there's the rating decrease rating none so I can remove them all and I now know every single flag that I applied in this little demo has been removed you know I do quite a bit of image editing but I can settle on just three flags and all I've got to remember is six seven and eight because six applies my red flag seven applies my yellow flag and eight applies my green flag and I find that meets all my needs